Hey guys, good morning. What is on my mind this morning? In addition to you guys could just possibly see coyotes behind me because I'm out in the foothills. So keep an eye open. <laughs> is uh, Shelly Eisliger's campaign, her Decide to Be Kind movement. She has these very cool bracelets that you can get. Um, check her out on LinkedIn and you'll, you'll see how to do that. That just remind us to be kind. And you may be thinking, well, what does that have to do with being an entrepreneur? And I will tell you, it has everything to do with being an entrepreneur because our businesses need to stand for something. And oh my gosh, what if we all infused kindness into the work that we do? Like how wonderful would that be? And that can look like anything from donating a portion of your profits to creating groups where people can gather as a community uh, and, and providing free value. It can be, um, oh, that's not a coyote. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, it can be anything, right? You know, uh, giving your services and also helping in, from a paid perspective when you're working with clients. Just being kinder and thinking about, you know, where other people are coming from. It's hard to do. Um, I'm reading a great book by Malcolm Gladwell called Talking to Strangers and it's it, it's just really interesting. And, and if you haven't read it, I would say check it out because it will have you think about your default thinking and um, with everything that's going on in our world today, what if we all had default thinking to kindness, both in our personal lives, our professional lives and how we approach our businesses. So anyway, um, let me know in the comments what someone has done for you that is incredibly kind in their business or how you incorporate kindness into the work that you're doing. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.